Sir, may I start uh, the session? Hello. Hello. Uh, may I take the lead to start the session, please? Uh, let's wait a couple of more minutes for uh, Dr. Ali, if it's okay. Okay, sir. Uh, so I think uh, let him try and then we start. There, there, there's Dr. Ali. I have contacted Dr. Anwar. He's going to join us shortly. Yes, I see him. Uh, I see Anwar is on, on the line now. Uh, Mr. Koso, I'm online. Okay, sir. Welcome, sir. So, uh, Sir, sh uh, shall we start it now? Yes, yes. I will introduce you, and then we will start. Yes, I think Paul uh, Paul is online, and Mr. Jim Hartong is online, and there was a Chamber of Commerce person, Caroline. I don't know whether There's she is here. online. So, what I'll do? Yeah. What I'll do, I will introduce you guys, and then Paul Zito will take the lead, and then he will take care of all those stuff. Sure, will sure. that be okay, Jim and Paul? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So, um, see, my name is Anwar Ali. I am with the Toulouse Society International, and I am the vice chair, or I'm the chair of the Hyderabad Toledo Society Committee. So, what... Um, what are aim and objectives? I'm just going to take a minute, and after that, I will give it to Jim, and then Paul will take the take everything from there. So, what we are trying to achieve from Pakistan, we have signed the agreement on in 2011, February 15th of 2011, and and since then things are moving very slow, but uh, but our main goal is to promote educational, economical, and cultural exchanges between the two countries, and with that, there were a few. Um, things that we have worked out, like the mayor was here twice, and then I buy a program for youth. But now, since Mr. Koso and other people are came on board, so we try to achieve more, and that's it. What we want to do, and Jim, please take over and introduce yourself, and then uh, Paul will take over the. the uh, I'll I'll do that, uh, Dr. Ali, and 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 thank you, uh, my my distinguished friends and and colleagues. Uh, uh, good evening. It's evening in, in Hyderabad. It's uh, morning here in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, I am James Hartung, uh, president of Toledo Sister Cities International, and it is my distinct pleasure uh, to join you at this exploratory webinar that seeks to strengthen the economic relationship between Hyderabad, Pakistan, and Toledo, Ohio, USA. Toledo Sister Cities International is an NGO, non-government organization, affiliated with the office of the mayor in Toledo and is designed to serve Toledo's 12 sister cities in, located in, in 10 countries. Toledo is also aligned with Sister Cities International, our parent organization in Washington, DC, which oversees the over 200 U.S. cities that have sister cities throughout the world. Of historic note, by the way, is that America's first sister city agreement was between Toledo, Ohio, and Toledo, Spain. That sister city partnership will celebrate its 90th anniversary in 2021. And also next year, 2021, Toledo and Hyderabad will celebrate the 10th anniversary of our sister city agreement. Under the leadership of my good friend and associate, Dr. Anwar Ali, our relationship continues to grow. Today's webinar is part of our plan to expand our already good relationship with Hyderabad and matters of education the arts and cultural diversity to now include business development and trade. Dr. Ali, who serves as the chairman of the Toledo Hyderabad Sister City Committee in Toledo, is now also serving as Toledo Sister Cities International, our, our vice president of programs. 
I'm proud of the vision and commitment that Dr. Ali has devoted to this project, as well as the many other projects he is working on with me. I'd be remiss if I did not thank the government of Pakistan, the Ministry of Commerce, and the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan for their very proactive uh, outreach. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not thank Mr. Paul Zito of uh, the, uh, the Vice President of International Program Development for Northwest Ohio's Regional Growth Partnership, which is the premier uh, coordinating body for economic development in the less Western Lake Erie Basin uh, for his agreeing to join us this evening. I can think of no one better. Uh, with that, allow me to turn the program back over to uh, Dr. Ali. Hello? Yes, yes. Yes. Anwar, do you want to introduce uh, Paul, or should I just hand the, hand the ball to No, him? no, no. Just just go ahead, Jim. We, can't, we don't want to waste time, and Paul can introduce Sabrina and all those stuff who okay. who's on his team. Well, so we'll, we can take over from there. Yeah. Paul. Paul Hi, Paul. How are you? Paul's in your court, Paul. Paul, can you hear me? There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? I can. You are out we can hear you. Yeah. And can everyone see the PowerPoint that I have just pulled up? I can. It's on my, line. It's on my screen. And can our friends in Hyderabad see the PowerPoint? Yes, sir, we can see, we can see. Oh, wonderful. Good. Good evening um, to all of the residents, uh, businesses, corporate citizens, and friends uh, of Hyderabad and hopefully uh, of Toledo. My name is Paul Zito. I'm Vice President of International Development for RGP Northwest Ohio, which is similar to TDAP. We are an economic development agency. We promote investment into the Toledo area and business around the Toledo region and all over the globe. I personally have done lots of international sales, over a hundred million dollars in exports all over the world, including Pakistan. Um, I have also helped to promote foreign direct investment into the Toledo area, into Ohio, and other parts around the world. I average in assisting with about $1 billion a year in foreign direct investment. I'm very pleased to be able to talk with you today about some tips on the US market, because I understand many of you want to export to begin or more uh, uh, to the United States and to present your sister city, Toledo, Ohio, as a location for business. When you look at the, the US and exporting to the US, you really need to think about it as a market. Uh, the US is a very large country, a population of about 325 million, which makes it about one and a half times the size in population of Pakistan. Uh, the US exports quite a lot. It's very dependent on international trade. Of course, the biggest export partners of the US are the European Union, Canada, Mexico, even Japan and China. One of the most important things when thinking about doing business in the US is to realize the federal system and that each state, Ohio, California, New York, Illinois, they all have different tax laws and regulations that must be followed. And these can be benefits or negatives to you as you do business in the US. Also, when thinking about the US as a market for exports from Pakistan, think about the geography. 
It's a very large country with very distinct regional differences. We, Toledo, Ohio, are in the Midwest. The Midwest is known for its hard working ethic, the Midwest work ethic. The Northeast, New England, New York, can be cold at times, not only the weather, but many people think that the mentality of doing business in the Northeast is cool. The South, Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia, are seen as a bit laid back. And the West, California, Arizona, and I've spent a lot of, I've lived in California and Arizona, is just a bit wild and crazy, to be honest. It's kind of like the wild, wild West. The Midwest is a good solid place to do business, not only to export to, but to have operations. When looking at the US market, you as an exporter from Pakistan need to think about your distribution channels in the US. You have a lot of geography to cover. You have a lot of markets to cover. The Northeast, the South, the Midwest, the West. How are you gonna do that? Are you gonna work through a sales representative or an agent in many countries, and I believe Pakistan is one of them, it's quite common not only to work through a distributor, but to have an independent sales rep and agent that can help you with payment transactions, that can help you with legal issues, accounting issues, regulatory issues. Are you gonna work with an independent distributor? who will take ownership of your product, store it, and then distribute it throughout the US. Is your product or your system better, uh, uh, better to be utilized licensing? Do you have intellectual property, a design of your product, a recipe of your food that could be licensed to a US company? Do you want to enter into a joint venture, a 50-50 partnership with the US company? Or do you want to acquire an existing company in the US? And then finally, if you want to make the big step into the US market or any other market around the world, will you have a wholly owned subsidiary, your own operation in the US? That's a majority of the work that I do to promote foreign direct investment. FDI into the Toledo area. If you're going to have your own operation in the US, do you want to invest hundreds of millions of dollars right away in manufacture? Or do you want to do it gradually? I've worked with many companies from Europe, Asia, and all over the world who start in the US with a one person sales and marketing office. They may then add research and development to that office. They may then be importing enough product from Pakistan or Germany or Argentina or wherever to have a warehouse where they can store their product, receive it from overseas and then distribute it throughout the US. And then finally, do you find that your business in the US is so successful that you actually want to manufacture in the US? to save the costs of shipping, to save the time of shipping, and to have that made in the USA label. No matter what you do in the US, whether it's just exporting or having your own operation, you need to come up with a business plan. And that can be a one page business plan that covers things such as how will you enter the US market? Where will you be located? In thinking about a location, you want to think about things like access to market. Where are your customers? One great thing about Toledo is that it's very close to most of the manufacturing in the US and Canada. How close are your suppliers? How easy is it to get the parts, components, and equipment that you need? What kind of labor is available where you're going to be in the USA? Do you need welders? Uh, do you need IT people? Will you be able to find the managers that you need? Are there university programs or other programs that generate enough managers that you can run an operation in the US? Where you decide to be in the US is the infrastructure good. Do you have good roads, rail service, air service, sea service? 
Do you have good internet access? Uh, do you have access to uh, uh, the services that you need? And then finally, what kind of incentives are available? In the USA, the state governments, the local governments and others provide financial incentives to overseas companies and any company that opens up an operation or expands an operation, thereby creating jobs and investing in capital equipment. We, the Regional Growth Partnership, RGP Northwest Ohio, do that. We help companies from around the world to set up their operations in the Toledo area or expand them. We are privately funded. We are not a government agency. And that model is quite common in the US to have privately funded economic development organizations, companies, banks, law firms, universities that want the economy in the Toledo area to grow. We are one of the six partners of Jobs Ohio, which is the official state government economic development agency. And that means that we have access to the financial incentives such as tax credits, grants, low interest loans from the state of Ohio. A bit about Toledo itself. Population of the city of Toledo is about 260,000 which makes it about one-tenth of the population of Hyderabad, I believe. Um, the, the complete metro area is a population of about 600,000 people. We are located in what's known as the Great Lakes region, the largest supply of fresh water in the world, which is important to many industries, particularly the food industry. So we're very fortunate to be right in the middle of the Great Lakes region. Toledo is at the, the true crossroads of America. Interstate 80 and 90 goes east-west all across the US. Interstate, Interstate 75 goes north-south all the way across the US. <laughs> Yeah, could someone mute their microphone, please? Toledo is known as the glass city. Um, I believe Hyderabad is known as the lion city. Am I correct on that? Bengal mm -hmm. city. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, Toledo's birth in industry really happened about 130 years ago when the Libby family and others from New England came to Toledo to manufacture glass. Libby is known as a major supplier of glassware for restaurants, but also for the home. And from that glass industry 130 years ago have come many innovations in glass and many great companies that call Toledo home for the glass industry. Owens Corning invented fiberglass and now is one of the world's largest producers of fiberglass insulation as well as other products and materials used in construction. Owens Illinois is a glass bottle manufacturer and is the world's largest producer of beer bottles. NSG, Nippon Sheet Glass from Japan, took over some of the automotive glass assets in Toledo and now is a premier supplier of automotive glass around the world and a major employer in Toledo. The industries that are strong in the Toledo area and that we focus on include advanced manufacturing, robotics, automation, controls, the automotive industry. Toledo is the birthplace of the Jeep. The Jeep Wrangler is considered the classic Jeep and it is still only manufactured in Toledo, Ohio. Because Toledo is only 100 kilometers from Detroit because of the Jeep factory, because we have major facilities from General Motors and many tier one automotive suppliers, the automotive industry is very strong in Toledo. 
looking at the future, advanced energy, wind energy, solar energy. Toledo, Ohio and Northwest Ohio are considered a major cluster for traditional energy and advanced energy. Food processing, Toledo, Ohio and the Midwest are known as the bread basket of the US. We have many food companies with major names such as Campbell's Soup, which has one of the world's largest soup factories near Toledo, as well as Heinz Ketchup, one of the great, greatest or worst American exports ever is ketchup. And in many places around the world, if you have Heinz ketchup, including in Tokyo, Japan, it is made just outside of Toledo. And then because of its location and its history and in industry, transportation and logistics are first class in the Toledo area. Road, rail, bridge, air, top notch, top notch, transportation, and logistics throughout the Toledo area. Toledo is, has created many world famous companies. I mentioned Owens Corning, the inventor of fiberglass. Owens, Illinois, one of the world's largest bottle producers. The Jeep uh, started in Toledo and the Jeep Wrangler is still only manufactured in Toledo. But other companies such as the Andersons, which is a leader in the agribusiness sector, a major uh, producer and supplier of plant nutrients, fertilizers, grains, and seeds. Also Dana. Dana is considered the top or one of the top three automotive suppliers um, in the world. And again, looking to the future, Renewable energy, green energy is very important to, to Toledo. And Toledo has been instrumental in the development of wind power systems, as well as solar systems. First Solar is the largest US manufacturer of solar panels and their major production is in a suburb of Toledo. As a matter of fact, they are currently just opening a brand new 1 million square feet which I believe is 100,000 square meter uh, production facility for their new solar panels. So solar energy is very strong in the Toledo area. Of course, from my work, one thing I love about Toledo, it is very international and has been for decades. Lots of foreign investment in the Toledo area. There are over 200 facilities that are owned by overseas companies from Europe Canada, Asia, all over the world. They employ over 30,000 people in the region. So they're a good piece of the economy. Big names like Fiat FCA, Magna out of Canada, classic German companies like KUKA and many others from Europe, Asia, Latin America and all over the world. Not only is business, industry, and commerce doing very well in Toledo, but the actual structure of the downtown area is doing very well in Toledo. Um, over the past few years, according to my fuzzy math, at least $1 billion and closer to $2 billion has been invested in the downtown Toledo area, renovating and fixing many old historic buildings, making new parks, making new office complexes and buildings for shops and restaurants. It's a true renaissance that very few US cities of the size of Toledo have seen over the past few years. Toledo is also a very fun place and that quality of life is important for foreign investment so that people from Asia, Europe, Japan, uh, uh, Canada, all over the world can feel comfortable and have a good quality of life in the Toledo area. The Toledo Zoo has been ranked number one by USA Today newspaper more than any other zoo in the United States over the past 10 years. The Toledo Museum of Art started by the Glass families over 100 some years ago is a world-class museum and then you have the Great Lakes themselves. In a 45 minute drive, you can be on a boat in Lake Erie. 
And Toledo has been recognized the past few years as a leader in industry, commerce, um, and international trade by publications such as The Economist, The Financial Times, Le Monde out of Paris, Borzen out of Denmark, and has received recognition for the amount of exports and the great export assistance programs that it has uh, by Global Trade Magazine. And how do we do this? How do we promote international trade and international business in Toledo? We do that with our partners, like Jim Hartung, like Dr. Anwar Ali, and like the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce. Um, I'm very fortunate to have the pleasure of working with Sabrina D'Onofrio on various aspects of business development in the Toledo area. And at this point, I would like to ask Sabrina to take over and mention some of the programs and highlights of the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much, Paul. And thank you all for having me this evening. My name is Sabrina D'Onofrio, and I am the Export Assistance Network Director at the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce. The Toledo Regional Co Chamber of Commerce has more than 2,100 members part of the chamber. These are small to medium-sized businesses throughout our region. The Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce is five-star accredited. This is an accreditation, the highest possible rating from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, of which we are very proud to have. What the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce does is we advocate, lead, and connect. We advocate for a thriving business environment, and we do so by providing business advocacy at the local, state, and federal level. We are actually the only Chamber of Commerce in Northwest Ohio to provide that service for our members. We lead. We lead the charge to att attract and retain talent in our region. We do so through one of our organizations called Epic Toledo. Epic Toledo is one of the largest young professional programs in the country. And by having Epic Toledo at the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce, we are also promoting diversity and inclusion efforts throughout our region. Connect. We connect businesses with resources and opportunities for growth. We do so by providing services to businesses of all sizes. We have our Small Business Development Center housed at the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce. And that organization is a no cost, confidential consulting group. We meet with businesses, whether they're just starting out or they're an existing business and they're having some troubles. The Small Business Development Center is there to help them. Finally, we connect businesses through my program, the Export Assistance Network. What I do is I help companies who are looking to export, who are new to exporting or an existing exporter with problems or questions, export paperwork, and we kind of help them navigate those waters. Additionally, myself and Paul Zito, hold a 10 session training course called Export Success, in which we help companies export effectively. For more information on the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce, please see our website, toledochamber.com, and hopefully you'll be given this presentation so you can take a look at our website and see a little bit about what we do. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you very much. Um, again, the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce is part of what I call the international infrastructure of Toledo. A network, a very loose network of banks, law firms, accounting firms, logistics companies, universities, chambers of commerce that help businesses grow. I mentioned before Toledo's geography. We're very fortunate to be along the St. Lawrence Seaway, which is a major shipping route from the Atlantic to much of the United States. And the St. Lawrence Seaway 
is actually responsible for some of the early prosperity of Toledo. I'm very fortunate to be able to work in conjunction with the Toledo Lucas County Port Authority. Mr. Hartung was the head of the Toledo Lucas County Port Authority 20 some years ago when I met him. And I learned a lot about how a port authority can help not only ship goods in and out, but to provide financing on property, on manufacturing operations, help companies with exporting and importing through programs like their foreign trade zone program, which is considered one of the best in the, in the country, and their brownfield remediation program. The Toledo Lucas County Port Authority is responsible for a major redevelopment in the middle of Toledo of the old Jeep factory. The Jeep factory was moved 10 years ago or so, and the old site sat abandoned. The Port Authority took that over, invested millions and millions of dollars, and remediated it. It is now home to a new manufacturing facility from Dana Corporation and several other automotive suppliers. In terms of what goes in and out of the Toledo port, uh, not containers, but a lot of iron, coal, limestone, a lot of grain for the agricultural industry and seeds um, for the agricultural industry. And what is known as project cargo. We get a lot of wind turbines that are coming in to Toledo to go to the new wind turbine operations throughout the US. And then finally, another partner that we'd like to mention because of the strength of the food industry in Hyderabad and the interest of food companies from Hyderabad to export to the US, we partner with SIFT, the Center for Innovative Food Technology, which is a state-run program that can help a food or agribusiness company with research. It can help them to commercialize their product it can help them on energy and environmental issues, safety issues, can conduct market research, and can do things like focus groups and help with uh, food safety quality, and even inspect manufacturing facilities to make sure that they are up to code. Um, I hope to meet you all in person sometime, as do Sabrina and Jim Hartung and Dr. Anwar Ali and our many friends in Toledo. I want to remind you to think of the US as a market. It's a great place to visit, but it's an even better place to do business. And think of the international infrastructure in Toledo. Jim Hartung, Sabrina D'Onofrio, Anwar Ali, myself and others may be able to help you as you look at the US market and you want to grow. So never hesitate to reach out for help. My contact information is in this presentation. I will make sure that the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan has my information. I thank you very much and I look forward to the rest of the program. Thank you, Paul. And of course, if there are any questions on doing business in Toledo or exporting to the US, I'd be happy to entertain those. <clears throat> so we shall move to questions uh, later on. Am I audible? Sure, Mr. Koso, you can start introducing your participants and we can listen to you guys and whatever you want to, we'll, we'll go with that. So let me introduce myself. My name is Ashik Hussain. I am Deputy Director, Trade Development Authority of Pakistan. This is a trade body working under the Ministry of Commerce, Pakistan. And we have uh, sub-regional offices and currently I am the regional head of TDAP Hyderabad. And since there is uh, an agreement between Toledo and Hyderabad as sister cities, so we want to take opportunity of it. And keeping this in view, uh, we have taken on board 
the chambers and the trade associations of this region and all the distinguished members uh, are also online over here. So I would like uh, then to uh, actually start uh, to begin with, I would, uh, if, uh, if uh, Dolat Ram is online, sir, are you online? Yes, absolutely, I'm online. Uh, sir, we are over to you. So we start with you. In order to save the time, uh, we are over to you. Thank you very much, Mr. Khoso. I'm Dolat Ram Lohana, former president, Hyderabad Chamber, Small Trade and Small Industry. Dear Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Chair from Tolendo and Warali, Chamber of Commerce from Tolendo, and all members from the Tolendo, and all official members from today, and all listeners, accept my greetings. Good afternoon. Mr. President, it is a reward for me. I have been given opportunity to address you. Since we are here to creating a bridge to build between Toledo and Hyderabad, Twin City, and we will face and will handle every challenge come from the establish the platform. I am, anyway, we have believed that business are done by the people, not by the machine. And we on behalf of the Hyderabad Chamber, small trade and small industry, can perform for better to create new business opportunities and the growth of the people and their business, as Mr. Paul Zung saying. Hyderabad Chamber is the largest arena and a pool of the local manufacturer products and the SMEs buyer who can interact with the international seller and our local seller can interact with their international buyer. Hyderabad and Tolendo are sister city since 2011. I can see the common interest between Hyderabad and Toledo. And we, as a chamber, can provide you an arena to each other to perform better. I would mention the following areas where we can mirror our interests, education, handicrafts, Bengals glasswork, gems stone, rice, mangoes, mushrooms, bananas, clothes, pulses of all kinds. We can work on the, some other ideas timely we explore and the, we will be glad to work further. I believe as a first phase, we can decide our common interests and then we can move forward for our further proceeding. I believe this sort to even should be occurred of the future so our business relationship can be deeper and longer. And our business men can import and export from Toledo via this bridge. Since Hyderabad is the second largest city of Sindh province, having 1.7 million population, and that contributes 25% of the GDP of Pakistan with a major constitutions of industries. 75% of Sindh industries is located in the Hyderabad region. The Sindh Industrial Trading State, home to 439 industrial units, Hyderabad, and important commercial centers where industries included textile, sugar, cement, manufacturing of the mirror, ice, paper, poetry, and we, I would like to thanks to all listeners, active members, and all my Hyderabad Chamber, Smart Trade and Smart Industries team members to make the importance even successful. Here I want to clear one thing more. When I talk firstly in the Mr. Anwar Ali, who's chairing the Toland
from Hyderabad. He said to us, we should work in person uh, telling to Mr. Mayor, but unfortunately, he's not sincere, I don't know. In my view is that working or business should be related chamber to chamber or other than today. They are the real members. Then we can flourish our business, our industries. But at the same time, if from the your side saying that the mayor is the key person here in Hyderabad, we are wasting that time to searching to that person. We should be work, in my opinion, business if you want to stand the business chamber to chamber, or today should be online. So I recommend to her, please, this is the clear from your side. What should we do? Aya, you want to, we have a key person with the mayor. It's very difficult for us. So that's why these is the things. That's why I think activities between two city, we should be changed something. These are the things and uh, at the last, all persons are, thank you very much, especially from the Tolendo members, especially the Miram Ashik Kososab. Today, he is working very well in Hyderabad, and I hope he will be with us. And uh, we hope that we should be more business with the Toledo and Hyderabad. Pakistan, Zindabad, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, the ex president, Chamber of Commerce and Small uh, Chambers and Small Industries. Uh, since we were told that we have to uh, uh, we have to have two to three minute presentation uh, because uh, uh, time is very much limited, so I would now like uh, the president uh, chamber of commerce Hyderabad, uh, sir. Sir, am I audible? Can you listen to me, sir? The representative from Hyderabad chamber of commerce. Hello. So, sir, we are over to. Hello. The representative from Hyderabad Chamber of Commerce, sir, am I audible? Can you listen to me, sir? So we have another distinguished speaker, Yunus Khatri Saab. Sir, please ask. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It is privilege to be to address such wonderful people. Hello, everyone. Hello, sir. Please proceed. Please proceed. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. It is a privilege for me to address such wonderful people who have gathered today to find ways to enhance culture, business relations between two different nations who are far away from each other. What I mean is Toledo and Hyderabad Sin. Two sister cities of USA and Pakistan. I am Mohammad Yunus Khatri from Hyderabad, Pakistan. I have already introduced few of outstanding art workers. The other craft I would like to let people know Hyderabad. It is is also very famous for precious and semi-precious gemstone work. Men and women. Experts of this field 
have been working since centuries crafting this wonderful art work of beautifying the raw stones converting them in, into precious gemstones i am also a trader in the field i would like to define definitely like to introduce beauty of this trade however raw stone carved very technically and manually turning into glittering gemstone that initial great hard work and time i hope that we get the opportunity to let people to prelude now the magical work artist do in hyderabad sin <clears throat> i sincerely hope to give further detail when with this permit in near future i thank you all very much to sparing you valuable time and this evening thank you very much for all so faran sahab bolna chahte hain faran sahab aap participate karna chahte hain please uh ji bilkul please over to you sir yeah hello everyone uh hal that i would like to uh point out the two things uh you have described the all economic theek ji products we have further two things which we couldn't describe here number two is culture and number three is the education so between toledo and hyderabad these two sector also can be covered so that i would suggest that uh, in our next meeting or further proceeding uh, for this issue uh, we would also raise this issue and we should also work for all three items means the economic product which has been described by mr dolarat for all the trump presidents and number 2 is for culture and number 3 is for the actually for the education thank you very much sir koi aur bolna chahta hai ya main isko presentation chutti de ke fir hum question and answer session ki taraf chale jaate so anybody else uh, to participate or i would like to give a little presentation Khosu Sahab, you can go ahead with the presentation, and then we can do a question and answer session at the yes, end. Sir, I will take uh, a little time to give you a presentation. So, first of all, thank you very much, all the distinguished uh, dignitaries from Toledo, who are the part of today's this session. This is really encouraging, uh, and this is really an honor to be part of this. I would like to give a little profile of this region. Hyderabad is rich enough in terms of uh, uh, industrial productions, as Mr. Dolat Ram uh, just uh, now shared. And apart from this, we have a uh, uh, big potential of agriculture. Actually, the issue is that uh, the traders, the exporters, the business community of this region is very much interested. to to enter into international markets especially america so we hope that in this regard uh, the sister city status uh, of hyderabad and toledo and the dignitaries and the members uh, would extend maximum assistance and support to the local business community uh, that 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 prevails here so they are very much interested to come to america and uh, extend their business uh, to that area uh, this can be possible if we go with two three schemes scheme number one is uh, since tdap trade development authority of pakistan annually conducts expo pakistan this is an international exhibition that takes place in karachi annually Uh, in which around more than 70 countries uh, along with uh, delegations participate so we would really request uh, uh, the committee and dr anwar and paul zito and sabrina uh, that if you please uh, work on uh, some of the exporters from uh, toledo or the surroundings or america and we would like to include uh also the trade mission over there we have, since we have trade missions in america uh we would uh, formally request them to contact you and would also share their emails their contact numbers with you so that uh, we could jointly work and uh, uh have some of the willing exporters from america to be part of expo pakistan and when they come to pakistan from here from this region from hyderabad 
taking the help of distinguished trade bodies, chambers. Uh, we would like to bring uh, the producers, the traders of this region to Karachi and where we can have B2B meetings between uh, the willing exporters from America and the uh, business uh, people from this region. And this business uh, uh, range is much wider. Uh, this area, particularly Hyderabad, is agricultural belt. We have mangoes. And the quality of mango of Sindh, Hyderabad, is far higher than the mangoes available in any corner of the world. And we uh, have already exported of mangoes across the world. Uh, and uh, apart from mangoes, we have got like say chilies, we have got variety of chilies, and we have an area called Kunri that is uh, also situated uh, within the jurisdiction of Hyderabad TDAB. And uh, chili market of this area is the largest in whole Asia. Is we have the maximum production, maximum production of chilies. Uh, in whole Asia. Apart from this, we have got bananas, uh, just to name a few products, we have got bananas, we have since Dolatram earlier mentioned, we have got sugar and we have got even sugar industries and we have a bigger production of rice and we have got flowers. And there is a range of products that I will communicate through email. I'll, I'll be in touch. I'll be sharing all the data with Paul Zito and Honorable Sabrina and all, uh, all, all of the distinguished members from uh, Toledo. Secondly, since we have this interaction for the very first time, this will this will really work wonders. This will really benefit both the sides if we keep on doing such activities in the time to come as well. And in the time to come as well, we shall be uh, understanding, we shall be knowing each other, we shall be knowing even the very basic agenda of uh, Toledo and Hyderabad sister city that what, what offers or what, what facilities that you are extending, uh, particularly to promote economy, culture and education. Since I am not uh, uh, at the moment talking about education and cultural part of Toledo and the Hyderabad sister city uh, agenda. Uh, since we are planning uh, to hold another uh, webinar very soon, if you allow us, and this time uh, we would come up with uh, the trade bodies and chambers and jointly uh, we should hold uh, a webinar that will cover all these three bigger areas because education in itself is highly bigger area. We have, we have universities, we have agricultural universities here. Uh, we have higher education institutions here and there is a number of uh, uh, educational institutions. And apart from this, since as far as cultural exchange is concerned, uh, culturally, uh, this area, overall Pakistan is culturally very rich, but if I represent just this area of Hyderabad, it is rich enough. Uh, we have uh, uh, handicrafts of higher quality and well demanded across the world. We have an area called Hala. This is the name of that area. And this Hala is uh, simply an epitome, a paragon of uh, uh, handi handicraft things. We have got crockeries, we have got uh, pottery, we have got uh, textile uh, designs and things. And uh, uh, another scheme, uh, I would just take a minute more. Uh, I, since I'm working uh, to collect some of the samples, samples of different things, and uh, we would be in contact with Dr. Anwar. Uh, if uh, um, some exporters from there are willing uh, to see or to witness the products of this area, we can even uh, send the samples. And this time we are going to take on board the trade missions uh, in America and send in the samples as well. 
and uh, will be seeking uh, guidance uh, of Paul uh, Zito, Sabrina, and uh, uh, James Otten, and Dr. Anwar is being very kind to us. Uh, this is all about uh, uh, the potential of this area. And now over to you. And now we are open to question and answer sessions. So we shall not take too much time since Anwar, Dr. Anwar was asking me time and again to limit the things to uh, you know, minimum time. So sir, over to you. Dr. Sao. Yeah, Mr. Koso, yeah, go ahead. And if you guys have any questions, uh, please go ahead and ask and we'll be, and if there's any participants who wants to participate and say something, we are willing to hear. And then the floor is open, Paul, Jim, Sabrina, please. If you guys have any questions and the other participants, if they have questions, please feel free to ask. Yes, um, th th thank you very much um, for the information and presentation. Um, I'd like, that you have three main branches goals for the short term. Too many times sister city relationships want to do everything all at once and they never get to anything really effectively. So as I understand it, trade uh, primarily, well, uh, and, and, and featuring the Expo Pakistan exhibition, uh, agricultural products such as mangoes, chilies, and education. Um, the Expo Pakistan, uh, when is that held? Sir, this is held annually, but since due to COVID, uh, we have not finalized dates so far. As soon as uh, we fix this uh, uh, international exhibition, we shall let you know. So we'll be in contact, we'll be letting you know the dates of the exhibition. Yeah, um, I, I have worked with a number of sister cities. Uh, one of Toledo's sister cities is Poznan, Poland. A beautiful old town in Poland. Um, and for several years, the Poznan International Fair a big industrial trade show, I recruited companies from Toledo to exhibit there. And I think with Sabrina and me and some of our partners in Ohio, we could try to promote that and recruit companies to exhibit. Um, so I, I, I think that, that's a very good idea, something concrete that we can act on right away. It may not go to big places, but who knows? Um, on mangoes and chilies, um, you may know Toledo, the area around it, has the best in the world soybeans. So used for tofu. I would rather have good mangoes than soybeans, honestly. I think mangoes taste better than soybeans. Um, so, so that is good to know. Um, Sabrina and I don't work that much in agricultural commodities, but we can always keep our ear and eyes open and see if we can think of any ideas for you. Um, for education, and Dr. Anwar Ali and Jim Hartung have much experience in this, um, I think the sister city relationship between Toledo um, is very good for a number of reasons. I work with University of Toledo, Bowling Green State University, some other smaller universities. And all of the US universities want to go to China or England or Germany, you know, big markets or cool, you know. Um, I think Pakistan and, and Hyderabad have a lot of attractive assets. Uh, Pakistan, a long history of education for hundreds of years, a well-developed education system. So I think we can try to promote that to some of the universities that we work with. Sir, uh, I welcome uh a distinguished uh, uh, member and part of TDAP as well, Mahmoud Nawaz Shah. So, sir, are you listening to me, sir? Yes, 
Yes, I, 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 I'm listening to you all. So please continue. Thank you. Sir, Thank you very sir, much. Sir, we are, we are, sir, we are, sir, over to you, and we would like you to please, sir, say something. I think uh, you've spoken a bit and I heard a bit what you said. So let's hear out first uh, uh, what people from Toledo has to say. And then uh, I'll just say what you missed out and I'll just take a couple of minutes. So let's hear, hear them out if they have to say anything. And then I'll just add up to uh, what you already said. Okay, sir. Okay, Sir, the uh, presentations sir, kafi ho chuki hai. means they uh, actually we started at seven and they've given the presentations and now we are uh, into question and answer session. So sir, if you, if you, if you want to add on, uh, if you want to. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. If, 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 that, if that is so, I thought it's between seven and nine. Uh, yeah. So apologies. I just came in late and didn't want to uh, really barge in and poke in and just wanted to hear out. Uh, just to what you said, and and just what I heard, a uh, couple of things on 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 the agriculture side. See, Pakistan is producing about uh, close to uh, 15 million tons of fruits and vegetables. So the opportunity, obviously, uh, we're looking at. I understand sister city concept is absolutely different, but uh, uh, in our understanding, we belong to agriculture production side. There is a lot of scope for uh, not only for fresh food retail uh, business, but also for uh, processing. We do not process more than five to seven percent of our production, and uh, the kind of uh, fruit base that is around uh, Hyderabad fruit and vegetable base that is huge because of the weather and and traditional uh, things that we uh, grow here. Uh, one of the things, if if uh, as you said, you keep your eyes and ears open, and I don't know if Toledo can uh, uh, take the lead as uh, being in a sister city is to really uh, introduce mango to some. Uh, supermarket chain so as to introduce mangoes to um, non-ethnic buyers as usually are of mangoes and going forward a cultural event around that perhaps uh, could be organized in mango season, season in somewhere in, in Toledo for uh, mango tasting and something of that sort and we'll be more than happy to uh, participate in a sense to provide uh, uh, free uh, mangoes and stuff uh, if there is a concept which uh, uh, which can resonate among stakeholders. So very frankly, I do not know uh, who the stakeholders are, but this is just something uh, which I wanted to throw on the table while you all uh, discuss. So in any case, uh, for future, we will always be available and more punctual in time uh, so as to take your efforts. Uh, we belong to Hyderabad, and obviously there's a lot of opportunities. And uh, going forward, if there's anything uh, that we could do, uh, not only in Hyderabad and if TDAP could facilitate uh, we would uh, certainly do that. Thank you very much. Yes, Dr. Sir. Dr. Sir, you are not audible. You are not audible. Dr. Sir, we, you are not audible. Ali Riza, Dr. Anwar Sir, you are not yeah, it's unmuted now. So uh, answer to the question to the previous uh, presenter, yes, we will be very interested in doing mango testing because what we do as a, a Toledo Society International, we have an international festival. So if we coincide with that, if we get, get mangoes, we get an audience of almost 2,000 people visiting those uh, that festival with different stalls. So we can, we can make it happen. Like we can have a mango testing uh, a stall there and we can market that as a product of Pakistan, and probably that will help in introducing mango to Toledo. And in our further seminars, we and me and Jim know some exporters here who import or export food products with Paul Zito, we'll contact them. And in the future seminar, we'll try to connect you guys with those people specifically so we can promote those agricultural uh, needs. So, Dr. Saab, uh, uh, hello, am I? Yeah, 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 go ahead, Kozo Saab, go ahead. So, Dr. Saab, as I said earlier, that we are, we are planning uh, to hold another webinar very soon also, taking all the trade bodies, associations, and chambers of this region on board. And in that, uh, uh, we would like to focus on all three uh, 
tires, say education, culture, and uh, economy as well. Sure, so, Moses, sir. And we'll be happy to help because we will uh, we will have a University of Toledo on board, and with Paul Zito, probably we'll get University of Bowling Green and other universities which are here. So we'll be happy to whatever your needs are. We'll try to accommodate that and try to get you connected with all those resources. Yes, sir. One one more thing, uh, 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 I would like to know: Is there any uh, exhibition being held in Toledo or in surroundings, which is of international stature, uh, in which uh, uh, Pakistan could come and participate? Uh, Kosu sir, I will answer some of the stuff, but but probably Sabrina with the chamber might be able to answer more. Yes, what I know, yes, we have several exhibitions relating to different stuff. For example, recently we have an art exhibition. So year year round, the things are going in which Pakistan or the people from Pakistan or the artifacts from Pakistan can be a can be a good resource to the local community. And, and Paul and Sabrina and uh, Jim, please add on if you guys want to. Paul Zito's mic is off. Uh, oh. oh. There we go. Well, no, no, we can. I was placed on mute. Um, I am not an expert in the food industry. Um, uh, Toledo is a mid-sized city uh, and doesn't have large exhibitions in industry. In the United States, you find that most of the big exhibitions are Miami, Florida, Chicago, Las Vegas, New York, Los Angeles. Um, the food industry, from what I know, uh, the major international events uh, are Cial he held in Paris, uh, Anuga held in Cologne, Germany, and in Chicago every, every June, I believe, is the FMA, Food Marketing Association. Um, but we work with food export agencies in Ohio and the U.S. We may be able to help if some of the companies from Hyderabad would be interested in exhibiting. Uh, we may be able to help with that exhibition. And Dr. Saab, uh since you, we were we were on call and you were telling you were sharing that in the past, uh, uh, perhaps mayor of this area uh, came to America once or twice. Yes, uh, Kosa Sahab, what happened when the signing was done? At that time, uh, after Mr. Aftab Khatri was the DCO, so he came for the signing of signing ceremony, along with uh, the Kavar Naveed came as well. I think he was a previous mayor before Mr. Khatri. After that, uh, Kavan Navid came again one time, then twice uh, Barkat Rizvi came. So two times Barkat Rizvi, one time uh, Mr. Khatri, one time Mr. Navid, uh, Kavan Navid. So there are four visits. And then we had some other visits as well. Uh, there was an investor who was looking to invest in Toledo uh, in a real estate. So he came and uh, he met with Paul Zito and Dean Monsky at RGP. It was um, around that uh, 2010, 2011. And then they were uh, now the Minister of Just, uh, Justice, uh, your, um, what's his name? Uh, he came uh, initially before the signing in ceremony to pave the way, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the Minister of Justice for Pakistan, I'm forgetting his name. Uh, he's, uh, he's, the, he's a lawyer as well. So he came too. So, sir, do you do you plan uh, the same kind of meeting from, uh, of uh, of this uh, people from this area uh, in the future? That uh, do you really plan that some uh, business community, if they want to visit uh, Toledo for the purpose of business, so what facilitations uh, your esteemed body can uh, extend to them? So, uh, uh, Mr. Koso, and I think Jim, uh, I will speak. Then Paul and Jim can uh, jive in. Uh, yeah, whatever your needs are. For example, if you need a letter to be to get the facilitation of the visa process, we can do that. You need connection here to get connected with a specific business, we can do that. So whatever your needs are, we will try to accommodate. For example, 
there was a speaker from leather goods or textile. So we'll try to get them connected with the leather goods or con uh, the textile people who are interested or agricultural. So we can facilitate everything from the acquisition of the visa letter to uh, bring them here and, um, and let them meet with the people, taking them around and introduce, introducing with the businesses that need to be introduced. Okay. And Jim and Paul, please go ahead and, and, and please, uh, if you have any ideas, you can, you can say as well. Uh, Anmar, uh, yes. Uh, thank, thank you. By the way, it, uh, it, that was an excellent answer, and I, I, all I want to do is 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 reinforce uh, our commitment and in, in Toledo sister cities uh, to tailor your needs to our our agenda. And uh, we we work on on specific requests if if you need you know, uh, um, uh, uh, assistance with, with, with visa or letters of invitation. Uh, we will be happy to provide that. And we will be happy to act on your behalf in making sure that you are in contact with the, with the correct people and the decision makers to assist you in, uh, in conducting business. Um, Mr. Koso, uh, sir, finally, we have uh, Dr. Bhai Khan Shasta. If you please allow, please. Dr. Bhai. Dr. Anwar Saab. Yeah, G go ahead, go ahead, uh, uh, Koso Saab. Go ahead. Uh, we we, 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 we welcome uh, Dr. Bhai Khan has uh, joined us. Uh, sir, sure. are you on, sir? Dr. Bhai Khan Shah, sir? Dr. Bhai Khan? Okay, sir. <clears throat> So, sir, we are uh, uh, almost done. If uh, if any question from this part, uh, uh, you may please. The participants from Hyderabad, if they have any query to put up, they can, please. The participants from Hyderabad. So, Dr. Sab, over to you. Uh, we are now going to conclude it. So, over to you first, please. So Koso Saab, like what we do, uh, uh, thank you for, um, thank you everybody, the participants from Hyderabad, as well as Jim, Paul, and Sabrina to, you know, to, uh, to give us a, a part of the valuable time. And Paul Zito was the, was the pillar. He contacted Sabrina and everybody to bring, come on board in such a short notice. And for the next one, uh, Koso Saab, you have to tell us when you want to do it, what you want to do it, give us some time and we will do it much better with the, the, with, the, with the stakeholder that you want to get connected because our aim and goal is to provide you with the, with the, with the connections that the businessmen between the two countries or two cities can go further and strengthen their relationship. So uh, Paul and Jim or Sabrina, if you guys want to add something, please go ahead. Uh, Dr. Sab, I shall soon be uh, letting you know about the next uh, webinar. Uh, sure. We'll be holding meetings with the regional associations, trade bodies, and uh, the stakeholders. And collectively, we'll decide of the date and let you know in advance. We'll be in touch through emails and through WhatsApp. And uh, um, I cannot at the moment say that when this activity is going to take place, but uh, it will take place, say, in 20 to 30 days, within 20 Ab to 30 days. Absolutely, Koso Saab. And as you said, we can have separate seminars for agriculture and education, economic or education. So we are uh, ready and willing to do whatever your needs are. 
and we want to make it work and we want to see it happen that something is happening out of this uh, this uh, society relationship so sir so thank you since this was kind of ice breaking session between toledo and hyderabad we have learned much more and uh, i am being very excited that uh, uh, toledo uh, is going to be uh, a great help Uh, the team toledo is going to be a great help uh, to help uh, the uh, traders the stakeholders stakeholders of this area to open up different avenues there in america and uh, we shall continue this practice inshallah so sir thank inshallah you very much. thanks to uh, james uh, uh, honorable james and paul zito and sabrina and all the distinguished uh, uh, dignitaries and members Uh, from Hyderabad region, uh, Mahmoud Nawaz Shah Saab, Farhan, and uh, all all uh, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Simal Chamber. Uh, I'm really grateful to all of you that you took time out and became the part of this uh, very fruitful activity. And Dr. Anwar uh, uh, Saab, I would like to thank especially uh, because it is all I must say. due to your efforts and efforts of uh, 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 my team as well including dr uh, yunus khatri is here so this is uh, something we have started off and inshallah this will continue and we will come up with next webinar very soon inshallah so, and kosu saab uh, same to you guys because you guys have taken a uh, effort because otherwise nothing will be happening so i thank you all your team khatri saab khatri saab was a key player in getting, connecting all of us you and the bhai khan saab and all the members you know because we want to know each other well and we want to help them as much as we can to to make it a success and another thing too i'll be traveling to pakistan soon within 4 5 days so probably if you need anything from here let me know and uh, you know and if i can do something to help you out i'll be happy to do that thank you sir thank you thank you very much Jim Paul please say anything if you want to Sabrina please you know add any comments any uh uh no it's been an it's been an absolute pleasure um as as you said it's been an introduction and icebreaker and we will see where this leads us from here but we have some good ideas some good plans to go forward and i think uh, i, I want to thank uh, everybody from hyderabad for their participation uh we are we want to be very aggressive in making sure that our commercial ties our trade ties are enhanced through uh, through sister cities and a regional growth partnership and the chamber and the port authority uh we stand ready uh because we we believe that the only way we can grow is is through the development of strong relationships with with our with our with our partners and uh, those relationships can only be developed by continually discussing issues identifying issues and solving problems and we're committed to uh, to continue our communication with you and to uh, and 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 to serve your needs and by serving your needs we serve our needs of course i want to thank you thank you so much Thank you. Thank you. Great. Okay. I guess that's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. So great. Thank, thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Koso. Thank you all. All the people who participated. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It was an honor to be part of this session. Looking forward to the next time. Uh, it will happen very soon, inshallah. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay.